Hello everybody, welcome back to Philly Sports Era. My name is Ben and let's go over the Phillies getting their eight game winning streak snapped by the Los Angeles Dodgers. Um, to start, make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to this channel, come on. We're gonna do game recaps as much as I can, we're gonna do some breaking news, we're gonna try to do some collaborations as soon as uh, this page can get into some type of rhythm. Um, so yeah, definitely do that. Uh, follow my Instagram page, follow my Twitter. You know, I just talk about sports. You guys like sports, Philly sports in general. Just, just drop a follow, it takes like a couple seconds. Anyway, let's jump right into it. Um, the Phillies do get their eight game winning streak snapped by the Dodgers last night. Um, it really was just a crappy game. Um, I got home from work. Just excited to watch some Phillies. Um, and Aaron Nola was vintage Aaron Nola. Um, through four innings, he had allowed one hit. And he had seven strikeouts. It was vintage Aaron Nola on display. And it gets rained out. Absolutely unfortunate that that had to happen. Because we, we don't see this type of Aaron Nola anymore. Maybe this was the beginning of him getting into some type of um, change of mindset that could help us down the road. I can only hope that it is. But he, he his, his game got spoiled. And it really does suck. And our, wing, our hot streak just got spoiled. I'm not saying that we're going to go back to being poverty franchise Phillies like we were earlier this year. I mean, it's possible because a game like that in the rain, you you lose a lot of confidence because you lost your streak. It's possible. We've seen it before with this Phillies team, unfortunately. But I don't think that this is the case because we have the talent to... Um, we have the talent in the first place to get on this win streak. Um, and it's not like we beat, like, terrible teams. We beat the Mets. You know, they're in first place this whole year for a reason because they have a decent roster. It's not like we were playing the Arizona Diamondbacks. The Mets, they can hold their own. Um, so the Phillies kind of just face a reality check with the Dodgers, and hopefully we can just bounce back from this tough, disappointing loss, you know, really a draining loss because of the rain and just got shut out. Uh, and bef before we totally leave Aaron Ola, I, I think that he can really return to just being a good pitcher. This year he has been very average, he has very average numbers, but I think he can return to being, like, good. You know, good. Not, like, 2018 Aaron Ola where he's third in Cy Young voting. He's not going to be like that. Um, that was an anomaly, in my opinion, because you don't just pitch like that and then just fall off the face of the earth because that's really what he did. Um, so, yeah, that's about it for Aaron Nola. I just want to touch on him because he was very good. Uh, if we go more into it, uh, the Phillies often struggle. Um, we got six hits, but we didn't get any runs. We left eight base runners on base, which is not good. Uh, Gene Scar had three hits. Bryce had a walk. Um, Torres had a hit. Um, and that's it. Jankowski ended his 0 for 18, which is good to see. I mean, he's not going to be in the lineup for that much longer. Once Kutch comes back, then that's going to kick out Jankowski. My finger is really hurting right now, if you could see it. Ow. Um, I don't know why Girardi went with Matt Moore. And he also continued to go with Eniel De Los Santos, Damon Jones, and Mauricio Oliveira. Literally, like, the worst group of guys in our bullpen. W why? Literally, Zach Wheeler's coming off a complete game. Kyle Gibson's coming after, what, a seven-inning game? Six innings? That's a fully rested bullpen, and you go with Matt Moore? What? First off, you could have gone with J.D. Hammer for... The, yeah, J, I mean, J.D. was fine. He struck out two batters. He walked one, gave up a home run. We could have thrown him out for another inning. We bring him Matt Moore? 
What? God, Matt Moore is so bad. First off, I was thinking about this last night before I went to bed. Matt Moore, you don't, people, Matt Moore sucked in the MLB. Yeah, he was an all-star. Yeah, like a Mickey Mouse all-star season. Um, then he gets, he bounces around before he goes to Japan. And then he goes to Japan, pitches okay. And then the Phillies give him, what, $8 million for a multi-million at least deal? I don't know how much that was guaranteed. I Hopefully it wasn't a lot. But he is literally terrible. He's like Brandon Workman all over again. We need to stop signing these absolute bums. It's, it's annoying. We have, we have to stop using them. I don't care if we use the same guy. If I'm the manager of the Phillies, I'm like, hey, I'll, 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 first off, I don't know how the rules work. I'll be like, I mean, I think you have to change the pitcher after a delay. I, I'm not sure. But if you didn't, I'll be like, Aaron, you were pitching an absolute dying piece. Are you okay to go back out? And if he says yes, I'm putting it back out. Th th there's no reason to go with Matt Moore out of your whole bullpen. You got Jose Alvarado. You got, I don't know, for you, you could have used Suarez just for a couple innings, like three innings, he, and he could still make his next start. It's only three innings. And you know Suarez is very efficient. He wasn't very efficient last outing, but he could still go three innings strong and maybe not give up a run. You know, we saw him go three innings without allowing a single hit. Why didn't you use him? Why didn't you use him? It, it's annoying. Um, so I don't want to make this all negative because that's kind of where this road, this road is heading. Um, the Phillies still are a good team. You know, I still think they can pull away in this division just because we have injured players and they're going to come back. Um, especially this guy's in the bullpen. Bailey Falter's going to come back. Connor Brockton's going to come back. Sam Coonrod's going to come back. Sir Anthony Dominguez is going to come back. Zach Eflin is going to come back. Come on. Yeah, this team can be good. It's just injuries. Um, Andrew McCutcheon's out. Reese is going to be out. Um, uh, we're, we're missing guys. And we're still winning games. So, I mean, I'm still excited. I really just don't hope we... we they get all these fans into it, and they just have another collapse. That's what I'm really scared of. That's why I'm not buying completely into the Phillies making a strong run in the playoffs. I Do I think they can make the playoffs? They can, but it's going to be hard. Because the Braves, you know, they did what the Phillies should have done. They loaded up. They lost the Cunha. What did they do? They got Eddie Rosario. They got Jorge Soler. They got Adam Duvall back. That's three, gr like that's three good outfielders. But the Phil, the, I mean the Phillies, yeah, they filled the hole. They got Kyle Gibson, which is good. He's a great signing. Uh, Ian Kennedy, yeah, yeah, he's not really that good. Um, then we got Freddie Galvis, but he still hasn't played. We traded for an injured player that's not going to make a humongous impact. But the Braves, they got Adam Duvall, who has already just stepped in. And they got him for next to nothing, I think. And they got Richard Rodriguez. They got a decent bullpen arm. I'm scared of the Braves. I'm not scared of the Mets anymore because we just swept them, and they're pretty easy to defeat. I'm scared of the Braves. I'm really scared of the Braves. <laughs> Um, so the Phillies just really need to hang on there, and they need to take care of business. They need to at least take one from the Dodgers just to give us some cushion in this division. Um, who's on the mound tonight, uh, tomorrow? Kyle Gibson, Suarez, I'm not sure. So, thank you guys for watching this video. You know, it's a little bit negative, but, um, just the rain really ruined the vibe for everyone. You know, a lot of, the, the energy at Citizens Bank Park was great. Uh, but the rain just came in out of nowhere, just ruined the game, ruined our our, uh, our hot streak. So uh, hopefully we can bounce back 
today. We need to bounce back. Not even a hope, we need to. So, um, I could go on and on, but I have to conclude this video, because if it gets too long, my phone will have a stroke and it will not be able to upload this. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate the support. We got 15 views on our last video. You know, it's it's okay. That's okay. I'll take 15 people watch my day my video every day. So um, definitely check out uh, the rest of my videos. Uh, check out my Instagram page. I do final scores, updates, rumors. I might do some analytics, some scouting. I mean, there's nothing to scout. But, you know, just give it a look, give it a follow, I would really appreciate that. Um, have a good one, have a great day.